Hello. Hello. Welcome to our today's session. In today's session, I am going to discuss with you how to write an essay. In brief, we are going to know all these uh, few points how we have to write essay in a systematic manner. In the previous session, we discussed uh, how many types of essays are there, five types of essays are there. And in that first narrative essay, descriptive essay is there, reflective, expository essay, and the last imaginative essay. And here we are going to, to see how we have to expand the particular uh, statement, topic, sentence, this is statement, and other points in essay writing. See, while writing an essay, you have to maintain the following points it means it, your essay must contain the following points you have to stick to the topic for example you are going to write an essay on examinations how you are going to start your work you take another one nature on nature you are going to write an essay how do you write how do you start what is your topic sentence what is the central idea like you have to think and planning the essay, the way how you are going to present your points on the paper. Planning, you have to plan for that one. And interest, and so here, before going to write that one, you have to select an interesting uh, point as a opener for you. So in, in an essay, already we know there are three parts. Introduction, body, and conclusion. The introduction must be very interesting one to the reader and the body is and persuasive. Next an effective third one is effective conclusion. The last one is reviewing. Reviewing means in that you have to review the points of truth reading and everything you have to look into the matter. Stick to the point first of all. What is this? Choose a topic you are passionate about means you may have very strong desire to write an essay on the so-called aspect information technology like and you think uh, space technology otherwise uh, online classes otherwise you are going to write about your preparation for the examination uh, otherwise uh, you, you may have great interest in a philosophy like uh, I choose a topic of your passion passionate about it makes writing easier. If you have a great interest, you can write in an easy manner of the essay. If you can't choose a topic, then study it to make sure you know it better. It's very important to stick to the topic roughly and getting sidetracked loses marks. First, branch out using the main or sub -weightings. What is your main idea? What is your sub idea like that? You have to branch out. Next, develop ideas using facts, personal opinions, and a logical order. Whatever you are writing, whatever you are developing your idea, that must contain the logical order. Next one is a plan. What do you plan? Planning gives you an idea of where to begin and how the essay should flow. Make sure your essay is in a chronological order so it is easy to read. Gather facts and put them under headings they belong. Bullet points, ideas will make writing the essay easier. First, you have to jot down the ideas and some errors on a paper. And all those jot down points you keep in order in a logical manner. And these bullets, particular uh, uh, bullet points, will make the writing essay easier. Before you begin writing an essay, make sure your plan is in order. So you won't miss out on anything to write in the essay. Next in introduction of your essay, what you need. Topic and purpose of the essay. What is the purpose? It, in, it must indicate the structure of the essay. What is the structure you are going to set? It means in a plan you are going to set some structure for your essay. That and seizes interest and makes reader want to read on. For, like for example, you are going to tell something about forecasting. If the essay is about the particular one, if anybody is greatly interested to know about the particular uh, days, uh, whether conditions are like, then definitely they may start to read. 
to know about the this particular forecasting and next conflict means a difference how do you aim to resolve it suppose if you find any other conflict in may say how do you aim to resolve the particular one challenge challenge is is a argue or a belief or a stereotype find such type of items to create an interest in the reader introduction must indicate or it indicates whether you ever essay will be interesting or boring it gives the marker an instant feel of the essay so make sure it's a captivating from the start from the beginning you have to uh, take care about this introduction next in the body of the essay what have to keep or otherwise the body must contain the following makes a sense logical and persuasive facts and language no waffling it means going off topic or repetition of the points waffling means sometimes uh, the writer may add the same sentence for uh, different purpose of the, uh, purpose at the end is to project the idea of the writer that is happening so we have to see here uh, the repetition of the points without repeating the same theme or topic or accessing of the same thing in a paragraph or an entire essay the read, uh, writer should take care before going to complete that one facts the uh, facts to back up ever radio points of the paragraph and explanation of the point example relevance and a link next paragraph or flow easy reading so here peer so peer reference what is the peer p first the first p reference a point of paragraph next one is explanation of the point it means go into the detail and example few examples uh, you have to give the facts or a backup idea relevance how much of that particular point is relevant to the present situation or observation or whatever we are going to write there we are using the same information for the mini conclusion link to link to next paragraph or flow or essay easy reading and here in the concluding part what i would like to say with you few points before going to summarize the main points here what you have to add usually don't introduce new ideas in summarization you have to a uh, close in a brief manner in the form of a gist make sure the audience understand the main point of the essay and here you uh, recommend or answer or reaffirm reflect echo clarify emphasize effective powerful a moral passed on or a lesson learned from your essay suppose if it is no if it is not an essay if it is a lesson then you have to say some moral in that one and it gives closure to that next reviewing the essay introduction purpose of essay body coherence conclusion summary remove rewrite parts of the create a sense of unity and completeness to the essay proofread and uh, here uh, proofreading is also a point appropriate length keep rereading the essay make it a masterpiece and finally here um, make your essay a stand out how can you do that one structure your essay to make it any easy to read and understand have a unique point of view so your ideas don't sound like the others back up your ideas with the solid facts to persuade the reader to your side proof read until your essay is a perfect write with a passion but not with the dull mood passion passion means a strong desire that's why in the beginning i ask you choose a very interest topic see if you have a great interest in choosing the topic then it is easy to write to collect the facts or experiences or any other thing whatever you are writing that must have a unique point of view and even the structure should be very clear that should be in a logical order with logical order then the reader can understand very easy thank you